Rachel Golding is in the studio with us. She is the founder of Dinner on the Table. Thanks, Rachel, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Dinner on the Table, the concept and how it all began? Yeah, sure. Um, Dinner on the Table really is a, a daily life changer, I guess. We do family-style meals, cooked. We deliver them to busy families all over Sydney. And we're really about trying to um, take the pressure off at the end of the day. When you get home from work, you're managing your children. You guys have all been talking about all of that. You know, dinner is one of those big jobs that you have to do every single day. And so Dinner on the Table tries to make that easier for busy mums. Mm. So you're That's delivering it. meals direct to mums around Sydney? Yeah, our biggest customer base are um, working mums, so people, you know, with um, children who, you know, they've got a lot of activities going on. There's a lot going on in a, in a household on most days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we um, deliver pre-cooked meals. They're big enough to feed a family and you, all you need to do is whack them in your oven, warm them up. I feel like I'm your target market. <laughs> <laughs> that was cookie <laughs> dinner, Rachel. Dishes? What are some of the dishes that you prepare? At our most table? popular meal by far is our chicken and leek pie. It's um, really good quality uh, hormone free chicken. We use um, our vegetable supplier, our vegetables come from a local supplier, so a farmer in the Hawkesbury region so of Sydney. It's great for the local economy as it well. It is good yeah. for the local economy. We cook it all from scratch in our kitchen. We make our pastry, we hand roll them and they're ready to go from your freezer into your um, oven. Yes. So you get that pie I just cooked myself smell at your house. <laughs> Wholesome and wonderful. You just sound so perfect. Um, my question is, what make, what's, um, sets, sets aside dinner on the table from... HelloFresh or those other companies that also deliver sort of home-cooked meals, I guess? Yeah, there's a couple of things. Um, some of those companies do deliver you a box of great ingredients, but you then have to cook it yourself. And what we find is that while that's helpful, it you know, if you're really busy, you don't have time to cook. So dinner that's on the, the table... Reality. That's yeah. the reality for mm, most of us. You have all intentions of, I'm going to cook at home, and then you stop off at the takeaway on the way home. Or it's just cereal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cereal, you can do worse than cereal, I reckon. But um, so our meals hey, are all... cereal's right up there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, our meals are all cooked. Um, but the other big difference between Dinner on the Table and a number of the other um, companies in the market is we're a social enterprise. So the big goal for Dinner on the Table is to challenge the way that people living with disabilities are supported in um, Australia. Part of... Um, the, every time one of our customers um, yeah. purchases a meal, part of their money goes towards providing a meal for a family living with disability. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of customers who order each and every week at no cost to themselves. So it's free. It's free it's for It's free family. for them. Mm -hmm. right. Free delivery, free food. What, yeah. Why? Why did you think of, you know, reaching out for to the disabled people? Because people, you know, we sometimes forget. I mean, you're just thinking of the mothers who are struggling, but you're also thinking of the mm. disabled mothers or mm. families yeah. out there, which yeah. is awesome. So that's right. Talk to me about that. But yeah, yeah, sure. Um, my background is in um, academia, in family and disability research. I refer to myself now as a recovering academic. Um, <laughs> I but I spent years thinking about family wellbeing for families living with disabilities. So we, we're in families where either a parent or a child had a disability. And what would make a real difference to families? What would make them thrive? We know that some families thrive in the most extraordinarily difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. But what we don't know yet is what pushes people up that thriving scale. We think that having a good dinner done for you at the end of a long and difficult day could be that thing that actually pushes you up the thriving scale. And I actually think it's probably true for any family, mm -hmm. whether or not you're living with disability or not, And which is why we offer exactly the same service to all of our paying customers as our non-paying customers. And I think it's so important what you're doing is encouraging dinner on the table because sometimes we don't have time to sit on the table. Some of us are, you know, doing our work or doing our studies yeah. and, and taking our meals away. So that's good that you're encouraging not only family time, but also, I guess, help for those disabled families. Rach, you were going to say something. Well, I was going to say, could you just take us a step back and tell us about that first dinner that you made? Um, like, yeah, why did sure. you start? Yeah, I was actually um, talking to my hairdresser, of all people, and she said to me, do you know what I really need? Um, what I need are meals that I can just get the kids to put in the oven or that I can just heat up really quickly for the days that I'm working. Yep. She said um, her <laughs> husband hated cooking. He, his answer was to get takeaway. She said, I don't want the kids eating takeaway. I don't want to be eating takeaway all the time. Yeah. It's expensive. It's not so good for you. Yeah. Can you make me some meals that I can just, you know, put in the oven quickly? And she knew that I loved to cook. And so that was where it started. Right. Well, 
Yep. Yeah, I think I'm probably your, your target market yeah. as well. Yeah. Except, <laughs> Let me cook for you, yeah. ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Except so, that my husband loves cooking as well. So okay. I think it is this expression of love. And I think that um, it's... I totally agree. Yeah, it's great that you're able to provide that for, for women who feel like they can't provide that for their families. Yeah, and we want all of our customers to feel like somebody has prepared this meal for me. Mm -hmm. They don't have to feel guilty about giving it to their children. They don't have to feel guilty about eating it because they know that it's been cooked... Um, with good quality ingredients. It's been made from scratch. We don't use any nasties. There's no numbers. You can read the mm. ingredients list. You'll recognise everything yeah. on that list. So, Rachel, do you uh, cater also, not only for meat eaters, but to vegetarian and those are vegans and, and gluten-free gluten diets? Yeah, diet we yeah. do. Um, we try to cater for a wide range of um, dietary requirements. We know that people have different preferences. We um, change our menu every week, so we offer lots of variety. We're always uh, interested, if people have got good recipes, um, you know, mm. that they want to share, we're always happy to try out new things and most of the recipes that we've developed in our kitchen have come from um, things that I and my staff um, cook mm. for their families as well so yeah. they're mm. good quality you know family meals. You're not just sending it out to the masses you're actually eating the stuff that you oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> dinner on the table changes my daily life too because yeah. <laughs> well, you're a mother of three yeah. as well that's right and how yeah. do you balance all that like yeah. yeah i was going to ask the same thing same. How, do you, yeah. how did you find time to cook you know with difficulty like most, cooking, yeah, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. and i can take one story my um i recently uh flew home from work really late i had picked up the children from after school care we were running running late i ran in the door and my husband kind of flew in the door at the same time and i looked at him and said, I've forgotten to bring something home for work. And he sort of looked at me and said, you're joking. He said, the whole of Sydney is eating. <laughs> <laughs> sacrilege. No. Except for us. Yeah, so it is, like all working mums, it's a juggle. Mm. Yeah. It's a juggle. Yeah. But um, having dinner done for me definitely helps. Yeah. yeah. Can I just ask, how many disabled families have you actually provided meals for? And how long has the company been running, actually? We've been going for around about um, three years. And what I'm really excited to tell you is that we are just about, or we're just at a thousand gifted meals. Well, so um, we so have been... Give yeah, to, to yeah, families for free. I yeah, guess, that's for, right. For, for, that's for right. families with disabled children. Children or, or with a family um, who, where a parent has a disability. We support a number of families where What's parents have What's been the feedback disability. from these families um, for, for the services mm -hmm. that you're providing? Look, it's been overwhelmingly positive, I have to say. People are extremely grateful. I think they appreciate, you know, just the time that it saves, the energy that it saves, that it leaves more energy for actually gathering around the table because you mm. haven't sort of killed yourself in the kitchen for an hour and a half, you know, mm. trying to get it on the table. So how can people get on that list of being, you know, one of the recipients of dinner or on the support, table, if yeah. not or how do you Yeah, well, we work with a number of disability services that are local to us and they help us identify um, new families to start supporting and we invite our gifted meal families to um, order enough food to feed themselves twice each week mm. and, and we pick up the cost for that. Yeah, so we what we wanted to do was support people over the long term and provide really meaningful um, support mm. to families. But we'd love to cook for anybody. So, <laughs> but yeah, please um, let people know that we, uh, you know, if they're busy and they're time for and they want to eat well, we'd love to cook for them. I love that. And yeah. so what webs do you have a website that people can go to? Yeah, we do. Uh, cool. DinnerontheTable.com.au. We've also got a Facebook page. You can sign up to our weekly What's for Dinner next week email list. Um, we send all our new customers a 15 percent off um, discount when nice. they sign up to our mailing list and we'll keep you abreast of what we're doing and how many meals we're gifting. And it's in Sydney only. Sydney it only. is in Sydney only at the okay. moment but we're looking for partners in other places. Excellent. Oh. Look Rachel thank you so much for joining us Thanks. and sharing dinner on the table with us. I hope we all become members. Yeah. <laughs> Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube if you want to find out more information. We've had an awesome time chatting and I hope you've taken something insightful as well. Have an awesome week. Until next time, God bless.